Wow, check this guys. These are the gift on the East Coast you will always get on the beach. So the beach are not too much clear. Do you want to leave? No, you leave Thai. Or west side of the Florida? For the west side. Check the house video. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel, Moving to Florida Now. This is Komal Acharya. I'm a local real estate agent. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm walking around in the Deerfield Beach and going to record a video for you guys. Uh, comparison between East Coast and West Coast so this is the fun part of Florida I went for the showing I'm actually actively showing the property right now and there was a little bit of gap so my client wanted to take a snack break and that's why I thought of coming to the beach because I was very close showing the property on the beach area and just record the video before we start the video, let's understand what is East Coast and what is West Coast. So if you check out on a map, uh, that East Coast, of course, is the east side of the Florida and the West Coast is west side of the Florida. But the main peculiar landmark you got to know is that on the east side, we have Atlantic Ocean. On the west side, we have a Gulf of Mexico. That's the major difference. And if you go more further south, and that's where the Cuba and other small island comes uh, comes there, like Key West. So I, I live in east side of Florida, which is near to Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Those are the main cities. On the west side, if you go, then you have um, beautiful cities called like uh, Naples, Sanibel Island, Marco Island. So I'm, I'm highlighting those in a map so you understand what is east and west side of Florida. So in this video basically we are going to talk about the difference between this two. However this is not in a particular order it's more like my opinion like what I feel about east coast and west coast so it's not like one-to-one -one comparison because majority of the things also are common between these two. This both areas are very very famous among the winter birds. So if you come in a winter times you will find both areas crowded. However uh, in overall you find the East Coast is it's like a city kind city life uh, feel you will have and the West Coast you have more like a countryside I'm gonna tell you in more detail so guys East Coast sand even is not crystal clear I mean you will see see the uh, you do you see that white color I don't know you can see in a camera but this is that's a white but this is mixed color I don't know why it that differentiation happens here but if you go in a west coast it's more clear like if you just try to visit the clear, clear water or the sandable island it's so clear the sand is very clear and not too warm also East Coast I've seen the sand is very very warm especially in the summertime so I know I mean I like warm sand but you can even sometimes put the keep you in a fleet if you come in a afternoon like a, that's really really crazily warm uh, not warm it's actually hot in a west coast I've seen somehow it's not that much maybe just because the direction of the Sun not staying too long there and the beach is not too crowded see right now I'm on a weekdays today is Monday morning and see so many people are on the beach if you are like somebody who wants the country life so I personally like more countryside lifestyle so personally for me West Coast is better but if you are one of them who doesn't want to be in that quieter area then definitely the east side Miami Fort Lauderdale is much better and you get the city life and the beach life together Wow check this guys these are the gift on the East Coast you will always get on the beach so the beach are not too much clear I mean this is still okay right now but many times I have seen these things kind of floating around on the beach so when you go you know inside sea it's not too much fun I hate things coming on my way 
So on the west coast, I'm not saying you may not find the beads on uh, the sea, but it's much less. And the water is very clean because it's the Gulf of Mexico. This is Atlantic Ocean. And west coast is Gulf of Mexico. If you see in a map, you will understand the difference between two. Also, I love Gulf of Mexico because it's like, you know, blue water. You, even, you can even see the fish. We go a lot many times on a vacation just to stay there. Like the Naples, Marco Island, Sanibel Island. There are a lot many visiting places you will find. Um, and the beach water, I find it's very, very, very clean compared to the East Coast. The housing market. This is another most important question. Everybody asks me like where to buy a house, East Coast or West Coast, which is more affordable. See in general, Florida's cost of living is not bad. It's not too high compared to some other high tax states. However, if you compare East and West, West is more cheaper than the East Coast. Be because you know you see that East Coast has a lot of demands you know East Coast has a lot many famous cities here especially Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Delray Beach, Pompano Beach so many you name it and it's a huge town so many population here and there is not much land left so you don't see any more even new construction very rarely you find a new construction and it's more like a demand and supply thing. So inventory is always low in this area compared to West Coast. So that's one of the reason East Coast uh, housing market is more higher versus the West Coast. If you are looking to buy something, let's say less than 300,000, very close to beach, uh, West Coast will have a more options versus East Coast. Because right now in 2021, the housing market is booming all over in Florida. So on both sides it's going up and that is the reason there was a time that it was a lot more affordable below 300,000 you can buy even a beach condo very easily however right now uh, of course like one bedroom or studio apartments you may find in a couple of areas I search a lot so you got to have a strong professional who can literally help you know area better way then only you can find the perfect match which you may like in this market basically uh, in contrast on a new construction side you may find even a new constructions happening too so uh, not only the resales but you have a choice of new construction the housing market is still not that uh, expensive in a west coast area however the job perspective wise you will not find too many options on a west coast side the east coast has comparatively a lot many ID companies, uh, big hospitals like a medical for the medical professionals, software companies. Uh, also it's very famous among the tourists and the winter birds. So the economy here is much more stronger versus the West Coast. West Coast is mostly depend on the winter birds. So if you go in a winter time, restaurants, stores, everything is so busy, but if you go in other season, it's not that much busy compared to the winter times. So the economy there varies. So you got to have the business which supports what, you know, you will find the clients there. So you have to a little bit do your homework before you open your business in a West Coast area. If you love living in a high rise condo, then on the East Coast, you find tons of options. But on the west coast is more quieter you don't find it too many high high-rise buildings yeah there are, of course the condos are there but comparatively east coast is better choices another thing i'll see uh, i'll say in a, in a housing side the houses are more bigger on a west coast east coast houses are older and a little bit smaller size than compared to west coast uh, both both area will have your pool options or the beautiful uh, country clubs or the the beautiful uh, resort style clubhouses so that will not be a question on both sides however I feel like the landscaping wise is much beautiful on the west coast compared to east coast landscaping in west coast is beautiful if you even just drive around you feel it makes you feel like you are surrounded by the nature so much 
on uh, in other words in east coast i feel it's more city 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 life uh, where there are very few cities i have felt where you find that much nature if there is a lot of landscaping then they are away from the beach for example parkland western i love those cities but they are so much away from the beach so you do have to drive almost 30 minutes to come here in other words on the west side uh, you have a lot many choices if you are looking for something the quieter area the traffic traffic in a west coast is very less compared to the east coast however it's not much developed so many of the like you know the roads are like a one liner like a two lanes maximum like or maybe one way sometimes and uh, east coast is more like again it's a city life so you may find the bumper to bumper traffic sometimes if you live in the job hours then good luck uh, don't leave like my small tip don't go to the beach in a job hours wherever you want to go like Fort Lauderdale, Pompeii or Deerfield you will get stuck for sure so but in west coast you won't find that much traffic and in just 10 to 15 minutes ride you can reach to beach right away thank you guys for watching my video i hope this video was helpful to you and check this out the view i'm almost done with my video and i have to go for showing i just got a call from my client look this out this made my day already and if you want to make your day all every day then make sure you move down to florida and if you need any help on the real estate side, I'm here for you guys, uh, your friend, local realtor, and the YouTuber. Check this out, the beautiful view. I love it.